one of those all-stars will be silenced very, very shortly. But this lot won't, will you? I didn't think they would. But to keep mappy, I've got some German robots who asked me if they could come and fight at the home of Robot Wars. I said, get on the next plane. Well, this is a special treat for Extreme. We have the first German melee. Welcome. Are you looking forward to this? Hello, yeah. We are the Extreme team, and that is our nasty warrior. What's your weapon? We've got the rotating blade. OK, they've got a rotating blade, but they look like they've got a rotating robot. What's your name? I'm Sasha Thomason from Team Thomason from Germany. That's our robot, Ansgar. Confidence. High voltage. How many weapons have you got? We got two weapons. One movable lens and two abrasive wheel cutting off machines. Good luck. Quietly confident. And these boys I've seen them before, they're quite noisy. Welcome team. Golem crew. And that's the golem. Okay. What can it do? It's gonna destroy them. Yeah? yeah. Are you confident? Of course. Sorry? Confidence? Of course. Yeah. Good luck, teams. The arena waits you. Off you go. From Germany, Lensburg Power. This screen machine is powered by a windscreen wiper motor, but I can't see any damage raining down from this one. All power to your elbow, Flensburgers, though, if you prove me wrong. From Germany, Nasty Warrior. style flat body with two 36 volt driven wheels able to run on both sides the outer skins covered in carbon materials the weapon is a lawnmower blade not too nasty then from germany Ansgar. round in shape and can sit down and immobilize itself so it can't be shoved around by other robots they say it's very noisy especially the changeable lever and lance weaponry from germany Costs 3,000 pounds to build, has carbon spike weaponry, runs on 36 volt motors. The name Golan comes from Jewish mythology. It means a soulless mass. Now you know. Roboteers, stand by. And Scar from Alan Vuel. That's the Golan machine from Dinslagen. Two teams together. And Scar on the left, Sasha Thompson, 17 year old driving, and Oliver Buckel at the controls of Golan. That's Flensburger Power. And the nasty warrior boys from Karlsruhe. Michael Schnorr in the black at the controls of Flensburger Power. 20-year-old Norman Tice at the controls of Nasty Warrior. And we, of course, have thrown in Matilda. Watch for the 27-kilo flywheel. It's potentially very destructive. And our other house robot in the arena this time around is Shunt with the axe and the scoop and 105 kilos to push. Three, two, one, two. Nasty Warrior, top left, Flensburger Power, top right, then Ansgar slowly across the arena floor. That's Flensburger Power, urine and green. Ansgar tries a little flick there at the lifting... <laughs> the lifting tongue, which did absolutely no good whatsoever. Golem moving again in cursory fashion. Love the, uh, the graphics. And that little spike as well, the carbon spike coming out of Golem. At the moment, they're all having a little look at one another, apart from Ansgar, which is doing absolutely um, nothing. This is Golem, again with a little push. You can see the German flag there, did I see it? Golem across the arena floor and take on Matilda. It's not very sensible of you whatsoever. And Golem is tusked by Matilda. Last one standing, don't forget, wins this German melee. Matilda, a little flick of the tusks. Golem rocks and rolls not too sure whether there's any life in there at all that's the nasty warrior belonging to the extreme team side by side with ansgar although ansgar isn't actually moving that much on the arena floor at least they're trying to lift the weapon and trying to get others going is the smoke coming out of the extreme team machine golem well the red bot's gonna have a look because they've been in with matilda now for some time and they're not moving golem's up on its side it's invertible, can run both ways up, so don't worry about it being flipped. You see there, all credit to Ansgar. They're trying to get that uh, little lever working. 
can uh, can work 300 times per minute. That's going and counted out by the red point. You saw the red card that they've gone. So three German machines are left in here, and they're all together. Flensburg about the top. That's Nasty White to your right-hand side, and still out in Scar. Uh, they say they can get up to eight miles an hour. I'm not too sure if they can get up to one mile an hour, to be honest. There's the red point. Look, releasing the bit depressed button. He's had enough. Golem's already there in place. Got there early. Laid down the towel. And uh, is about to go down in the pit. That's the end of Golem. And the others, any second now, will go to a judge's decision. Well, we've had a judge's decision on that. The judges were looking at style, control, damage, and aggression. And the winners from Germany are Ansgar! Uh, you're free now. You've qualified for the World Championships. Thank you. Uh, are you <laughs> very pleased? Great. We are, so we are very happy, yeah. In the World Championship, you might have to put a bit more work into it. Yeah. So you go back <laughs> home to Germany now yeah. and do some more work and make it a bit more powerful, yeah? Yeah. Okay? We are learning you. I am learning. <laughs> das was wirklich good. Good to mark. Ladies and gentlemen, hands go! Well, tonight we're gearing up for the All-Star semi-finals. We're Chaos 2. We'll meet the awesome Tornado. So, Julia, are Chaos 2 ready for action? Well, Craig, they seem more than ready, but that's probably because they are the reigning champions. Hello, Chaos 2. Hello there. You've fought Tornado before, haven't you? Yes, we uh, threw them out of the arena last year. Right out of the arena? Yes. George, what happened? Uh, Semi-finals last year. And uh, after throwing them around a bit, we were sort of per left perched up on the fence. And uh, Ian said, that's it, we've won, leave them there. And uh, I thought, no, I just had to throw them over. It's too tempting a target. He's a meanie, isn't he? He is, yes. But this is Robert Wars Extreme, and they are carrying that extra weight. Do you think um, the same thing could happen again? They've improved an enormous amount over the year. They're, they're really quite a formidable opponent now, so don't know. Weapon this year, they've got a big disc on the back. Don't forget the last fight, young man. Stay confident. You could do it. Now let's see if Tornado remember that fight as fondly. Tornado, you've met Chaos 2 before, haven't you? We have indeed. We met them in the semis last year. And what happened? Uh, they beat us, unfortunately. But... Uh, Maybe not this controversial judge's decision, maybe? Or? No, no, I think uh, we had a few reliability problems and uh, fair and square they won. So. They flipped you right out of the arena, didn't they? Yes. You've got to mention that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but it is a Robot Wars Extreme. You are carrying an extra 20 kilos. Do you think it could be a case of deja vu or do you think you'll get through this time? I think we'll, uh, I think we'll beat them. We've been practising, we're reliable. And let's face it, Chaos is a bit long in the tooth now. It's old, it's worn out. just be a load of hot air because after all chaos two aren't the reigning champions yes 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 not long till those semi-finals a double bill to knock your silicon socks off but first Thunderbird are out for vengeance Megamore those lovely boys from Wales claim that they were the best singers in the world and Thunderbird did not like that one bit. Boys are dressed in yellow. Oh, yes, Craig. These were the ugly scenes earlier in the bit. Poor Jules in the middle. Oh, singers, you're a pack of dogs, boys. You really are. Who's the best? Who's the worst? I tried to think. Your rhymes are slack. You need a slap. Everyone sees your robot is slow. From Alton, Thunderbird 5. A low, wide, fast, powerful track robot with a hydraulic slicing claw jaw, 24 volt powered, but the 2.5 centimetre ground clearance means this bird may be thrown into the air to fly. As you well know, we are the Blunderbird Boys. This is a new robot for a new fight, but it's the same attitude. From Ben Fluid, Megamore. 
two 12 volt motors can get up to 10 miles an hour out of this roly poly tub. The pneumatic spikes can lift and shunt. Doreen Cordy, the captain, used to manage the Welsh women's rugby team, so he's used to loose malls then. My name's Dorian Cordy, this is Mark Hooper and Faceman Hill White. We are the boys from the morgue. This is our robot mega morgue with our gargoyle in the front and our ninja sheep. We're coming to your town. We know where you live. Mega morgue. Won't bleat about defeat, they say Dorian Cordy. Mark Hooper and the Blunderbird boys. Mike Onslow and Brian Kilburn there on the left. Thumbs up from him. And labs robots shunt with our secret prototype electric motor on board. And alongside him, we have no less than Sergeant Bash. Four parallel batteries throwing that flamethrower long. 